So welcome back to how we make it set up today. I've got my lovely model Riley with me and we're gonna do a really kind of bronze, nice, warm skin. So I'm gonna start by taking Riley's skin a little bit warmer and I'm gonna do that with a YSL Le Ton Touche Clat and I'm using BD50, which has a little bit more kind of like gold beiges in it. So you want to make sure the skin's really well moisturized when you do this so that your foundation moves really seamlessly, especially if you are going a darker color. So I'm gonna start from the inside of the face and work outwards. And this is a nice foundation for doing this because it's got good coverage, but it's buildable as well. And I think especially when you're going darker on the skin, you want to make sure you take it into the neck. Be really careful of things like eyebrows. And I think don't be tempted to go kind of seven or eight shades darker than your skin tone. Just do sort of two or three. Just think of the color that you go when you naturally bronze when, when it's summer. And you want to take it a little bit over the eyelids as well, again, just so nothing's kind of left discoloured so it's a different colour to the rest of the skin. It's better to do kind of small thin layers than one really thick layer. You just want to build it up slowly so it really does buff into the skin. So I'm just going to take it under the neck so that everything showing is covered. And don't forget when you're using a darker foundation you're going to have to go a little bit warmer with your concealers as well. So to conceal, I'm going to take a bit of NARS um, Creamy Radiant Concealer and I'm going to use the shade Medium 2, which is called Ginger. So I'm going to put that, put that onto the back of my hand so I can just use where I need it to cover any blemishes as well. So I'm going to take a MAC 217 brush and then just go over any blemishes that you want to cover and making sure it's just really well blended into the skin. And it's just a good way to kind of finally even out the skin tone as well, a little bit more. So I'm just going to go over the eyelids and just make sure that's all really well buffed in as well. Again, just watch anything coming through in your eyebrows so it all looks really natural and there's no evidence of kind of like a darker colour foundation going on. So we'll go a bit lighter under the eyes in a minute just to give it a bit more kind of brightness under the eye. But I want to start working on the eye first. So we're going to give Riley a bit more of a brow. So we're just going to brush the brows up first so we can see the shape. And then I'm going to take this palette by Clarins, which is called the Eyebrow Kit. And it does actually come with kind of like little spoolie and tweezers as well, but you get a really good range of shades in here. So taking mostly the blonde colour and a tiny bit of the darker one where I need it, I'm just going to run that through Riley's brows. And that's using a MAC 266 brush. So just feathering the colour through, and then I'm just kind of like neatening up the shape a little bit of Riley's brows, but just keeping it nice and full still as well. In the middle, I find it's easier if you start at the middle and then you can work your way out and kind of create the shape as you go along rather than starting too heavy on one end. So we're creating more to match up to the eyebrow, we're just going to create more of a peak, just kind of fold the arch in a little bit more, just to balance it slightly more with the other brow. So now taking groundwork by MAC Paint Pot, I'm just going to put this over the lid and smudge it in so we've got something to kind of create a nice eye base. Just close me down. Just to balance the kind of darker brow, but still giving quite a clean finish to the look. And this will just give a nice eye base your eyeshadow as well. So then I'm going to take this palette by um, Christian Dior. This palette is called Incognito 030, and it's got some quite, quite nice kind of beigey tones. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this shade and a little bit of this shade. So taking the lighter one first, we're just going to use that into the brow bone, just to give a little bit of shape to the eye, giving it really natural and fresh, and a little bit of that into the inner corner of the eye as well. And then taking a little bit of the darker shade, so this one here, it's more like a kind of beigey gold. I'm just going to put that through the socket, so just look straight ahead from your eye. And just a little bit into the inner of the socket as well, a bit more definition. And just open from your eye. And then you can take a little bit of that underneath as well, so using this colour again, we're just going to take that under the lash line. Just look up for me a nice bit of depth. Okay, and 
then we're gonna curl the lashes. I'm taking a pair of MAC eyelash curlers, just look right down for me, Riley. And we're just gonna curl the lashes. So taking the bottom lash by Clinique, I'm just gonna take this onto Riley's bottom lashes. Just look up for me. And I think because we've got quite a heavy brow, we still need quite a bit of mascara just to balance it. <laughs> so using this black mascara by Clarins in Intense Black, I'm just gonna coat the lashes with this. It's got quite a nice small fiber brush. So just look right down for me, Riley. So I'm just gonna lift the lid and coat every single lash. And this is a really intense black, so it's nice against the nice tan. And make sure you coat every single lash. And from the roots, just wiggle it through so you get lots of pigment onto the lashes. And then just go with your second coat of mascara. Set it down for me. Okay, so now I'm going to go on to what I kind of like to call my magic ingredient, which is this by Chanel. And this is the Soleil Tan de Chanel, which is kind of like a gel. Um, in between a gel and a mousse bronzing cream and it's a really nice way just to kind of um, bronze up the skin even if you're quite pale you can take this up really, really slowly and gently but we're just going to use this to enhance where we've already gone a little bit warmer so I'm going to take my MAC foundation brush again and I'm just going to start kind of applying this where the sun would naturally hit just to warm up the skin even further so kind of along the cheekbones into the temples, and turn that right. chin a little bit down the nose, just look straight ahead from Riley. So you can just see what's kind of picking up on those high points. So I'm going to take medium one for under the eye, mix with a little bit of medium two if I need it. So I'm going to try first with medium one, just to brighten under the eyes. So just taking that into the corner and just use it to kind of lift and sculpt the eye a little bit as well. That's the nice thing with these concealers. You can still almost highlight a little bit as well. And a little bit around the nose if it's needed. But then where you kind of come to meet where your um, foundation is, just use your foundation brush. It's all kind of buffed in really seamlessly. So just use it to kind of sculpt a little bit. Okay, so using the Shimmering Skin Perfector by Becca, this shade is an opal. This is just going to give even more luminosity to the skin and kind of really create that sun-kissed glow. So I'm going to take one pump on the back of my hand and I'm going to take a synthetic fan brush by MAC, so one of these, and I'm just going to kind of feather that over the cheekbones. So the skin looks really glowing. So if you turn that way for me, Riley. Just so it's... And you're literally just going over the cheekbones, a little bit into the temples. I think the trick with keeping it looking like it's your skin is not using too much powder. And turn straight for me. A little bit down the bridge of the nose. Again, the mouth, top of the cupid's bow is a really nice place to use it as well. Just further that through. So I'm going to take this Colour Elixir pen by Max Factor, and this is in the shade um, Subtle Coral. And we're just going to put a little bit of this onto the lip, just to give a tiny bit of colour. And anything with a kind of nice coral hue in is quite nice when you've got a bit of a tan as well. So we're just putting a little bit of this over the lip a little bit of colour. It's almost like a nice lip balm. I'm going to take Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector in number 06 and this is just going to kind of give the lips a bit more of a perfected glow to them as well. So we're just going to dot this with my finger just over the lip as well. Just so it's got a little bit more kind of sheeny glow to it but I don't want it so thick so that it looks glossy. Just that the lips look nice and healthy. So to add a little bit of pink for the glow on the cheeks, I'm going to use Revlon Photo Ready, and this is in Flush, which is quite an intense pink, but we're going to use a very small amount of it, and it's more just to give the effect of more of a glow onto the cheeks. I'm just popping a little bit of this onto my foundation brush, and if you just smile for me, Riley, I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that pink to the apples of the cheeks, just so there's a little bit of colour coming through. And just turn that way for me. So just applying it to the apple, And then the only place I would use a tiny bit of powder is just down the centre of the nose. And I'm going to do that with a bit of Laura Mercier Translucent, which is like an invisible press powder. A very small brush by Bobby Brown. And I'm just going to take that down the bridge of the nose, a little bit through the centre of the forehead, a little bit on the chin, and then a little bit just on the inner of the nose, but nowhere else really. You want to leave it really nice and sheeny. 
So here's the finished look guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed that, um, like if you liked it and please subscribe if you're not already subscribed and um, send me pictures as well of where you've tried to do this look. Thanks very much guys, bye!